Hello, Watima Mungu, and welcome to another episode of Flashpoint Show with the Track 9 TV. We are at African International University, and today we will be talking about navigating through young adulthood in the field of relationships. And so today we have a very amazing guest. Drumroll! Mr. Peter Katijo. Karibu sana. Thank you. Would you please tell us more about yourself? So thank you, Sonia. Thank you for hosting me in this show. I'm privileged to be here. So to introduce myself, I'm Peter Gatito. Uh, I'm a father of one daughter Ooh. and uh, one wife, a female, that is. And uh, currently I'm working in the Ministry of Transport Pension Department. And I'm the director of Jakita Classic. Oh, wonderful. I mean, guys, look at these bottles here. You have got to reach out to him because you need to have one of these. He is specified in branding and water bottles and kitchen equipment. So please, would you please go over there, Rush, look for Jakita Classics and make an order. And so today we are talking about relationships, right? And yes. we are basing this on... First Corinthians 13 that talks about love. You know, well, love is patient, love is kind, does not rejoice in evil, you know. And then we're also basing it on Galatians 5 14, which says that, you know, above all of this, like love your neighbor more than you love yourself. Like this is the greatest of the law. And so we are talking about relationships. You know, people have a hard time, you know, navigating through relationships because you have finished school, you are out there in the world, you're going to meet new people, new friends, new relatives, family. And it's hard for some people to build these relationships. And so according to you, as a believer, what do you think are the principles for a good or a healthy relationship? Uh, to start with, if we start by... Defining the word uh, relationship. Mm -hmm. Relationship is uh, it's the state of being connected. Either you're connected by blood or marriage. Mm -hmm. The connection, that is what relationship is. And uh, for you to be connected to that relationship, there are some uh, principles that, uh, that guide a good relationship, um, that uh, promote a healthy relationship. Mm -hmm. Some of the principles, one of the principles, the main principle, it's God. Mm -hmm. For a relationship to be, to be strong, the foundation of the relationship uh, should be God. When, you, when the foundation is strong, and when you have a good foundation, uh, for instance, if you're building a house, and uh, the foundation is very strong, you expect a very nice house. A very strong house but when the foundation is shaky uh, as beautiful as the house may seem to be as good as it may seem to be at a point it may come down because the foundation was weak so uh, for a healthy relationship you need to have a, a strong spiritual foundation that is one of the major principles in a relationship let the foundation be God. Okay. Just start with God from the ground. Mm. So another principle is uh, respect. So in, uh, in addition, there must be respect. If there's no respect, there's no relationship. Because from the respect, it's where uh, the love is built. If you have a relationship with no respect, you have to respect uh, your partner. It's, it's a very important uh, principle that you have to have respect. Knowing that this is what I'm supposed to do. This is what I'm not supposed to do. If I do this, uh, it will hurt my partner. Uh, it may cause some harm. So when you understand that, you will be in a very good position. And it's a guideline to to achieving whatever you want to achieve uh commitment anytime you uh you decide to get into the state of uh, of bonding it's a commitment you have to be committed mm -hmm. it's not a a 50 50 scenario whereas only one party is committed and uh, 
this is what is mainly affecting uh, most of the young young people young us mm. you just want to be there for fun no commitments uh, and your your friend are on a ball mm. you don't want to be committed you run away from the, because initially you never purpose to have the commitment in you you don't want to be committed you don't want to be responsible mm. and uh if you don't have the commitment from the initial stage as you're starting your relationship uh, let nobody lie to you that uh, it's it's much or that co- the commitment will grow if it's not there it's not there so you have to be committed you have to to give it all if you're for it go for it just be committed i think that's a very very important point because mostly when you are when people involve are involved in a relationship whether it's a friendship whether it's you know a romantic relationship usually there is no commitment so and everybody is fucking and everybody is living yeah. really that that doesn't make it a good relationship no all right okay so do you think people have overrated relationships or misused relationships i think uh, i can say uh, people haven't uh, overrated it they have misused misused the relationship mm-hmm. they misused the word relationship from the definition uh, when you're talking about the definition it's a state of being connected either by blood that is your uh, maybe your, your family members or by marriage uh the reason why i say people are misusing a uh, relationship is because uh some of us do get into relationship uh, due to so many reasons uh, one of the reasons ni maybe you want a, a, a rich guy to work on a pesa to work well up so uh, what have what is connecting you there it's money mm-hmm. so we'll connect up on a pesa and uh, so now that your foundation in that relationship is money and once the money is cut off it's done so the foundation of that relationship wasn't a marriage the main aim it was created uh, on a money basis okay so uh, once uh, the money is no longer there or la you get sometimes you get into a relationship due to situations you are tonight a situation ship yeah, now the situation <laughs> just forced you to be there mm. because now my friends are dating staki kuka singo tukienda uto konaenda na nani yes no the situation forces you mm. to be uh, in a relationship mm. so once uh, you maybe you, you're not in your normal state of mind una realize ah why am i in this dish why am i even doing this inaishiapo okay so people are misusing they are just uh, i think most of uh, the people do- doesn't understand uh, what is a relationship mm. they don't understand they don't have any aim they don't have any motive what is the goal why am i doing this why am i here so those are some of the things uh, we should consider before getting into a relationship is it just for fun or uh, why am i getting into this okay yeah so do you consider friendships as part of relationships uh friendship uh you you are connected mm-hmm. you are friends but uh you know being friends uh, friends have limits because mm-hmm. uh you know these people are misusing friendship people yeah. people are misusing friendship mm-hmm. and uh sometimes we must get uh, friends with benefits so uh friends it's a relationship you have a close relationship with someone it's a state of being you are connected maybe by 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 need you you need someone close to you uh, maybe if you have any issues you can share them it's a close person a person who is close to you who you and your friend mm-hmm. 
Mm. Eh saying in a sema a friend in need is a friend indeed. I'm on the other way around. <laughs> so <laughs> friends friends are on a limit. Mm. Jo friends friendship na relationship ni vitu mbili different. Mm. But friendship in as a lead to a relationship. relationship. But don't misuse friendship. Unapata mtu anasema you are just friends. But uh, the things they are doing see if it was a friends. So friends have limits. Mm. And uh, if your friends you have to if maybe it's a it's a male and female friendship. You must be you must have those boundaries. If your friends is let it be friendship. Okay. Okay, so so friendship should have boundaries. Yes, friends have boundaries. Mm. Friends have boundaries. It's very very important. Uh, you see most of the most of friendships okay, angalia most of the friendships some of them doesn't end well. Mm-hmm. Unapata you are very good friends, you are very close friends. Then unaanza issues. I don't know this one took my husband, this took my boyfriend, this took my girlfriend. Mm. Friends are uh, got boundaries there must be boundaries in friendship and friendship should be respected mm. if you are my friend i respect you and i respect our boundaries mm. yes okay that is very very interesting it is important to know that you know you need to have boundaries you're not going but sometimes people really get angry you know you've called your friend you need them and they're not available and you get so mad that your friend You know, sometimes you don't understand what they are going through, why they wouldn't be there for you. Yeah. But I think it's important to know that friendship should have boundaries and respect. That if a friend cannot be there for you, you know, you don't blow it off. And okay, yeah. yeah. And then do you consider like the relationships that we have in workplaces, not necessarily, um, not necessarily those relationships uh, between co-workers per se, but you know the friendships that you have between co-workers. Say for example, I'm a nutritionist, I'm working in a hospital, and maybe I'm friends with the nurse, the, nu- uh, the doctor and all of those. So do you consider those relationships good or not good? I consider them very, very important mm-hmm. and very good. Especially now that you're working in the Ministry of Transport, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So for them uh, I can more of uh, call them connections. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh if you if not it's in uh in 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 work environment it's more of connection you 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 get connected to friends. Mm. So through the friendship you create a connection mm-hmm. which is very very important. Pause. Because connections are important. Usika siri kia ni tu ukisikia kuna connections na hauna connections. They are made from friendship. Take note. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's, you said it very well. It's from a friendship, it's now a connection. Mm. Because if, uh, if you're not friends with you, we can't connect. Uh-huh. Very true. Very true. So you have to be friends. We bond as friends. Then we connect. Mm-hmm. If, uh, if I need any assistance from you, uh, as a stranger, maybe to mekuja to kapatan to nawe leo, and I need uh, help from you. Uh, from deep down, maybe I'll help you, but it won't be that uh, swift. Mm-hmm. But once we are once we are friends, we have known each other, we have bonded. It's very easy to connect. And uh, the Kenya we are. The connections are very important. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you have to to be well versed, well connected. Mm. You need to to socialize with people and know people. It's very important, but it's all through friendship. Uh, it's very helpful personally for me. I can say it's very helpful because uh, sometimes you 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 always need help mm. from others. Uh, as I'm working the ministry, uh, you'll get you, you you need other ministries or you need other other sectors. As we, I'm in the pension department, mm-hmm. so sometimes you get you you need to liaise with the national treasury. Okay. Uh, and uh, me having a friend there, it's very easy. It's just a call away. I need this and this. 
can you do it for me it's very easy yeah. it's it's a uh, it's easier uh, rather than for me going directly there leaving whatever i'm doing and uh, going to sort out my issues so through that friendship we get uh, connected you see you're connected to a nurse you're connected to a doctor maybe when your power line is not okay you have someone you can call oh, come and check my power line mm -hmm. and it's you no know, you have that connection of friends mm. yes yeah i think that is very true connection should not be demonized for lack of a better word i mean people feel this in anger connections you know but you know if you know me maybe i know some other people and they're my friends yeah. and if you need anything i can connect you both you know to to be able to get what you need right yeah, yeah that's very very important okay so you being a family man you told us you have one daughter you yeah. assume she's very very pretty thank god for that so how have you been able to navigate relationships within your family you know you and your wife and daughter and then you and your siblings and parents especially during this covid period eh? we've had a lot of cases of people you know wana kosana because you are locked in one house together and everybody has different views different opinions and then you're there and people wali kosana sana with their siblings and their parents and their spouses so how have you been able to establish a good relationship with your family uh, i know covid uh, affected most of the family so much mm -hmm. But uh, for me, I can say that uh, uh, by God's grace, you know, sometimes you things just happen by grace. And uh, through the principles that you have uh, and the principles that you have uh, established between your parents, your family, your siblings, because uh, the, the main challenge is uh, that is always there with Uh, young families it's uh, the direction or the way forward mm -hmm. you know when you're starting this uh, family uh, it's it's a, it's a young family you need to put guidelines mm. uh, that are going to lead you and uh, help you navigate through the family and uh, you know you are you are larger family so when you're starting it the principle that you set that is what, that is how now it's going to run So uh, I have said respect in my family mm -hmm. whereas uh, my wife respects my parents my wife respects uh, my siblings and uh, they also respect them mm -hmm. now the respect is mutual because once uh, the respect is there kila mtu anaka kwa line yake there's no point kutakuwa na hizo misunderstandings was just to set everything clear. Mm. Me like my wife, this is my mother, this is my father, these are my siblings. You respect them as your parents, as your brothers and sisters. They respect you in return. Mm. So it's very clear. It's very clear that a uh, respect is a uh, highly apprehended. Yeah. It has to be there. Also we are a god fearing family so through through the, the the prayers through the unity of the family despite the many challenges on the way we have to stay strong mm -hmm. and we have to to move on and uh, support each other you know uh, as a family the most important thing is support uh, my family and my that is my wife and my kid and my parents we need each other and we need to support each other because uh, maybe you can get this time i um, in need next time it's them who will be in need so i have to support each other so despite covid uh, my parents have been very supportive mm -hmm. my wife has been very supportive and uh, that is the unity that uh, i would encourage each and uh, every family to have just be united you know once you are united it's very hard to to be separated yeah. sababu who are to lack at the same time maybe today ni mimi nita lack but my wife will be having yeah. next time my mom will lack i'll be having so once you are you have that unity even in a, in a, in, in our life 
the moment we are united we have that unity uh, it's very it's very easy to to move on mm. because uh, it's said that uh, if you want to go far you you go together mm. once you're united you will you will go far mm. so the unity in a uh, in the family and the unity between me and my wife and uh, the support and uh, the grace of god it's all that have navigated and through covid because it hasn't been easy you get uh pay cards working from home mm. uh, people not buying uh jacket of products kila mtu analia pesa pesa yeah but you have to to move on you have to keep on pushing on mm. yeah i i always say that uh, giving up is not an option mm. it's not an option you have to you have to you have to push on and uh you have to to pass the test of faith so, we are in progress we are we are in process we are working in progress mm. and uh for you to pass the test of faith god has always uh, given us the power that's so when you believe and you have hope it will happen Mm-hmm. but you have to pass the test of faith so for you to pass the test of faith you must have patience patience must be there you have to be patient uh today ma- might be worse but tomorrow will be better mm-hmm. so you have to have the patience so that you can pass the test of faith. the test of faith mm-hmm. for instance uh if you are sick and you're taking uh, you're very sick and you have faith So you decide uh, I'm not going to go to hospital I just stay here and I'll be well. Mm. You have faith you will be well. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately in the middle of the night in the middle of the night you're very sick and you rush to hospital with an ambulance. Mm-hmm. And uh, in hospital no you 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 will get the medical attention. No this is a test of faith. If your faith wasn't strong you'll say like uh, I give up. Mm-hmm. I had faith but it doesn't work. If your faith is strong you say okay I'm here but I'll be well. I'll be well I'll get well and I'll get back to normal. Mm-hmm. So you have hope. Now hope comes in. Mm-hmm. Through faith now you have hope that will be better. and uh, once you have hope you have patience it's a process mm-hmm. you now you have passed the test of faith through patience and hope okay yes no that's very very important i think you guys take note of the fact that unity is important and support too so um that is very very important thank you so what advice would you give for people who maybe are having a hard time in their relationships yeah uh what i can tell people maybe who are going through hard time in uh, relationships um mm-hmm. uh, if you know the value or if you know uh, the main goal of that relationship if you have a, a goal if there is a if there is a is a this hope in that mm-hmm. relationship you have to you have to be patient you have to you have to remain strong the what i don't advise is uh being in toxic relationships mm. you know sometimes some of uh, there are people who are always in toxic relationship a uh, relationship full of chaos I don't encourage that. If you're in a toxic toxic relationship, uh, it's not healthy for you. Mm. It's not healthy. Because uh if uh, you get into a relationship then uh, in the middle you realize uh, maybe it was a situation ship. Maybe the the motive not just crazy relationship you make work risk. So <laughs> 
you you're here you're here so can we risk if you are in a risky relationship mm. uh, whereas maybe both of you decided to risk um uh, the main reason uh, that had caused you to get into that relationship it's not a it's not a genuine reason for you getting into such a, a relationship uh it shouldn't uh, it shouldn't continue because um uh, relationships leads to to marriage mm-hmm. so it's it's a, you are committed you 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 decide that i'm committed to this person so that uh, we can have a future together mm-hmm. so if that is not the main reason if you're just there to to waste each other's time kind of look for other things to do <laughs> because uh, at the end it won't be good okay you can say it will end in tears <laughs> because you will end up heartbroken okay mm. motivational speaker pale whatsapp hey acha kuchoma for no need <laughs> well, okay thank you so so, it, so it's very very important mm. you you evaluate yourself mm. you evaluate your relationship would you lose mimi pita mm. how am i in this relationship is it of any benefit to me do i really want to to have a future with this girl mm. you just have that uh, self evaluation uh, a process ask yourself some questions is it worth mm. so it, is this what i want how is our foundation this relationship uh, where is it founded foundation ya ke nigani so mm-hmm. you you get to know if the foundation is not strong already you have an answer you going nowhere at a, okay you might uh, move forward but a point your relationship will come down mm-hmm. it's very important uh, anyone who is in a relationship or those who are not yet into relationships before you get into one just have that self evaluation uh, take your time just take your time mm-hmm. don't rush for relationships don't rush to be loved don't rush to to have someone no just take your time and make the right decision okay thank you so much peter uh, my take out point has been relationships need support why don't you let us know what you have picked from the comment section and do not forget to share it with the friends you think need this like and subscribe As we are ending this I'm leaving you with one scripture in Proverbs 16:3 from the Passion Translation. It says that before you do anything put your trust in God and not in yourself. You know and then every plan you make will succeed. So why don't we take this word of advice and what we've been given by Peter and thank you so much for tuning in. See you next time.